everyone, it's Pam from Coach Pam Fitness. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the reasons why we gain weight as we get older and we enter into perimenopause and menopause. Um, if you've followed the last few days, you'll know I've been working on a series on how to prevent or reverse the weight loss that you've gained as you enter into that phase of our lives, perimenopause and menopause. And one reason I'm gonna talk about today is sleep. What's that? I wanna know what that is. <clears throat> I am a chronic insomniac, I always have been. Then I got to a period when my kids were older and they were finally sleeping through the night. I was finally getting a pretty good night's sleep and feeling pretty good. Um, and then perimenopause hit and the chronic insomnia came back and it actually got even worse instead of having weeks at a time where I would sleep really well um, those came fewer and fewer and more far between so I just got so tired and I started gaining weight because you know when you're tired you start craving more sugar and carbs and all the junk that we're not that are not is not good for us and causes weight gain so I would just eat to try and give myself energy to get through the day. And so I started gaining weight around my tummy, which I never had before. And none of those snacks actually satisfied anything. They just kept the trigger in my head that I needed to eat. So how do we stop that vicious cycle of lack of sleep, being tired, and eating junk? Well, we need to figure out how that we can get to sleep. I know, it's kind of hard, but there's, I have seven tips for you on how you can try and get a good night's sleep. Number one is uh, medication. You can try hormone replacement therapy that would help with hot flashes and moods. Um, I, unfortunately, am one of the ones that cannot have HRTs because of the family history we have of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. But check with your doctor and see if you're a candidate for that. Um, then we have, there's also antidepressants or um, if you're still in perimenopause and still have your periods, you can be put on a super low dose of the pill will help regulate your periods and keep your estrogen more steady. <clears throat> That's another option. Um, I tried that and the problem with that is I can never remember to take medicine so that didn't work for me either. So I had to move on to the next phase which is exercise. I love exercise anyway and I found that exercise gave me the energy I needed so I didn't have to snack on all the junky foods that I seemed to want to eat when I was tired. It also, when I exercise, I sleep better. So if you can't take HRTs, you don't want to take HRTs, or you're taking HRTs and it's not helping, add some exercise, and I will go into that. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to talk about exercise. Um, exercise is a great stress reliever. It just helps calm your body down. Yoga is also a really good, um, I have a couple nighttime yoga poses that I do to help calm your body down. So exercise is a really good one um, to help ease aches and pains also. Um, then we have, I'm sorry, I keep looking. I don't wanna leave anything out. Then we have watch your alcohol intake. Contrary to what we think, alcohol does not help us sleep. It doesn't. Alcohol puts us to sleep faster, but it does not keep us asleep longer. And actually for me, I don't know if this does it for you, but my hot flashes intensify when I drink wine. Um, also, I am up three hours earlier than normal when I drink. So alcohol, use selectively. Caffeine is also another big one. Uh, this week I am doing a 21 day reset and this week I have to tell you um, I haven't had any caffeine. First couple days were a little rough but I haven't had any caffeine and um, 
haven't had any hot flashes and I have slept beautifully. So um, nutrition is another important one. We'll go into that later in a, as a whole another um, section of the series in a, another day or two. So you need to watch your alcohol intake because that will trigger hot flashes and it will keep you up. Um, and then this one my family complains about all the time. Keep cool. So at night, I set the thermostat. In the winter, way cold and my kids are always freezing and they're yelling at me. But I have to, otherwise they don't sleep. So I always tell them they can add another blanket. But keeping cool, um, also wearing the dry weave fabric to keep the sweat off you, that's another good tip. So keep cool is another one. Relax. Relax. It's so hard for us to do as moms is relax, right? Um, but we really do need to relax. We need to relax our mind. We need to be present in our own being in order to turn off our brain. So yoga, again, I said yoga, is another really good tool to use to relax. Um, I have an app on my phone called Calm. It helps you go through the stages of meditation right before you go to sleep. Uh, so it's called Calm. I, that's a really good app. Just relaxes your mind, meditates, you focus on your breathing so you can fall asleep better. Um, and then if all else fails, go see a sleep specialist. They can tell you, they can make sure that what your, your problem with sleeping is related to perimenopause or menopause or if you have another underlying issue. So once we get a hold of our sleep, we are less likely to rat, reach into the bag of chips or reach for a cookie and then that will help reduce our calories when we're not snacking like that because we're tired and it will help us either lose a little bit of weight or prevent the weight gain to begin with. So I hope you this found these tips helpful. Uh, I will be adding on to the blog. Um, nutrition and exercise are the next two that I'm going to be doing. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you have any tips that have worked for you to help you sleep, please let me know. I am always looking for tips to help with sleep because especially we moms, we don't get enough and then when we have hot flashes interfering in the middle of the night, we get even less. So if you have any tips on how to you get a good night's sleep or what you have found, please let me know. Post them in the comments below. And I hope you found this helpful and have a great rest of your weekend.